ashes of defeat the resurrected king is resurrecting me in your name i come alive to declare your victory the resurrected king is resurrecting me Let's pray. Panginoon, maraming salamat po sa umagang ito, Panginoon, na binigay mo po sa bawat isa, Lord God. Thank you, Panginoon, that we celebrate, Panginoon, yung kapanganakan mo, Panginoon, na pinangan na ka, Panginoon, para po iligtas ang bawat isa, Panginoon, para magkaroon ng buhay, uh, ng buhay ng wala hanggang Panginoon ang bawat isa, Lord God. Maraming salamat po sa pag-ibig mo to your unconditional love, Panginoon, to your unending love, Panginoon. Kung po patuloy na sumama at manguna sa aming gawain, maghari ka po sa buhay ng bawat isa. Ito po ang aming matamis na Ito pang aming panalang sa matamis sa pangalan lamang ni Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, mari na po tayo makaupo. And salamat po sa awitan natin sa Panginoon sa umagang ito. Tunay nga po sabi, di ba, the resurrected King is resurrecting me and His name is Victory. Amen po ba? Because hindi lang po siya naparito sa mundo, hindi lang namatay sa krus, kundi siya ay muling nabuhay. Kaya victorious po ang ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. At sa umaga pong ito, uh, before po tayo makarinig ng salita ng Diyos na ibibigay po ng ating senior pastor, let's ano po, uh, have ng sandaling oras. Ipikit po natin yung ating mga mata. And this is the chance for us to give thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ for His coming sa mundong ito para po sa iyo. Today, we celebrate yung kapanganakan ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. At ito rin yung araw na kung saan, ito yung pagkakataon na nagkaroon ng bawat isa sa atin ng chance to have ng salvation dahil sa ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. Why don't you give Thanks sa ating Panginoon sa umagang ito. Let's give yung pasasalamat natin na mataas para lamang sa ating Diyos. Let's give thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ ng sabay-sabay po sa umagang ito. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that you have done. Thank you, Lord, because you are the King of kings. Amen. Amen. And now po, uh, 
Uh, sabayan po natin si Sister Ligaya as she read po yung passage sa umagang ito sa Juan chapter 1 verse 9 to 13. Magandang umaga. There's a victory in His name. Totoo po yon. Ngayon, basahin natin at pakinggan at munimunihin ang salita ng Diyos na matagpuan sa 1, verses, chapter 1, verses 9 to 13. Ayan. Ito ang tunay na ilaw. Dumating ito sa sanlibutan upang magbigay liwanag sa lahat ng tao. Dumating ang salita sa sanlibutan Ngunit siya ay kinilala ng sanglibutang ito na nilikha sa pamamagitan niya. Pumunta siya sa kanyang bayan, ngunit hindi siya tinanggap ang sarili niyang kababayan. Subalit ang lahat ng tumanggap at sumampalataya sa kanya ay binigyan niya ng karapatan maging mga anak ng Diyos. Sila ay naging mga anak ng Diyos, hindi dahil sa isinilang sila ayun sa kalikasan, o sa kagustuhan, o sa kagagawa ng tao, kundi ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. Ito ang salita ng Diyos. Yes po. Today, yung sermon title po, pakibasahin po, 1, 2, 3, go, Benefits of Christmas po. Yes po, Benefits of Christmas po. Next slide. Ito, pakibasahin po, let's read, let's read, 1, 2, 3, go. We don't watch God because life is good. We watch God because He is God. Amen. Amen? Yes po. We don't worship God because our life is good. Ito po, we worship God, meaning po, He is good. Amen? Pinaka-important yung simple. Isa pa po, God is good all the time. Yes po. That's why we are here to worship God on Christmas. Amen? Amen. Next. Christmas is a season to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Tama po? Yes po. Today, let's think about the three benefits of Christmas. Christmas is the best day for our salvation. Ano po? Number one, salvation to transform the identity. And the last, emotional, emotional, emotionally restoration. Yes, po. Yes, po. Okay, po. These people. Number one, salvation. Salvation. Number two, Yes, po. Transformed identity, po. Last, emotional restoration, po. This is more of, thinking about memory, muna, po. Next. Pakibasahin, po, your title, po. One, two, three, go. Um, Yes, but the best day for our salvation, Christmas is the best day to Sinopo accept Jesus Christ. Bo. Amen. Amen. Next. <laughs> Rejected. How how you how you ever been rejected? How do you feel if someone rejects you? In social relationship, we may reject or rejected to survive in a competitive society. People will learn how to 
embrace others, we feel pain of being rejected, but can overcome that pain. Jeffrey's member, how about, however, how about being rejected continually for a long time? How, what will happen to us if we are continually rejected? Next. Rejection. Fail, destruct. Rejection, fail, hate lead, and hate lead cause revenge in destructive ways. Next. We will make a hard will, hard wall with the bricks of pain. The hard wall will make us isolated and become the hard to love or over trust on others. We will reject other people, other reject us to protect our heart from the pain of rejection. We may forget how to love and be loved, then we will be have hardship in social relationship and even in the family. All these negative cycles upon all humans are sinner. I think you the book. Next, how about the relation with God? Thinking about his or Jinping's members, how about the relationship with God? Some people say that they have trusted in God and prayed to God. However, they thought God did not answer them, so they perceived no answer as God's rejection. Thus, they got disappointed and left God. Others would say that God cursed them, though they were faithful to God. They also would say that God gave them negative results though they prayed to God hard. Click. <coughs> However, the truth is that God is the living God and answer our prayers. Amen. Yeah. Thus, we should have a confidence in God and wait for His timing. His timing. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Next. <coughs> Let's talk about acceptance. Acceptance. The Bible promises whoever accepts Jesus and believes in Him will receive the light to be God's children. Amen? Yes. Is it nearly, nearly possible? Thinking about it. Next. John chapter 130. Anopo, one, two, three, go. Sla I. Amen. English version for who were born not of blood nor of the will of the press nor of the will of man but of God. Amen. Next. Let's thinking about let's thinking about three questions. Three questions for first. 
who can be God's children, who can be an oppo, who can be God's children, who can be saved, last, who can go to the God's kingdom. Next, who can be God's children? Except to Jesus. Amen. Except click. Except to Jesus, no one has power and intelligence enough to make someone God's child. Yes, Paul. Next. Who can be saved? Click. Who can be saved? Without Jesus, no one can get salvation and sought the loyal family, adopt them to do people immigrate to rich countries. Next. Who can go to God's kingdom? Who can go to God's kingdom? Click. Without the salvation, no one can go to God's kingdom. Regardless of their good traits, high academic achievement, and mature lifestyle. No. Next. I know, Sata, let's go. It's a ball. Yes, ball. Next. Thus, we should remember everything being God's children, being saved, and going to God's kingdom depend, depend on God's will. Amen. No one dissolved to be saved as well as all humans are evil and unrighteous. Nevertheless, God dissolved to love simple and imperfect human like us. As he loved us, he sent his son Jesus to his world to open the way to salvation by believing in him. Thus, we should accept our coming Jesus as our Savior, not reject him. Amen? Amen. Next. Akiba Saipo, one, two, three, go. Yes, Paul. The best day, the best day called transformed identity. Christmas give us an opportunity to be God's children. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Human has, human has simple nature to reject Jesus. Human in the darkness reject. Jesus, because Jesus would remind them of their sin. So, for their spiritual comfort, they rejected Jesus and made Christmas as a mere holiday. Next. Jesus. Jesus is light. Amen. Jesus is light. He shines and reveals all our sins. However, who want to show their sins? Those people reject Jesus and 
avoid him and they'll hide from Jesus, lie or deny the birth of Jesus. John also said that Jesus Christ came to the world, but the world failed to recognize him. People, people rejected Jesus, not accepted him. They were blinded spiritually because of their sin, thus like of prodigal son, they did not recognize their creator who gave them life. Therefore, they refused to admit Jesus as Christ and did not believe in him. Yes, bro. However, we should understand why Jesus came as the light of the world. Number one, back to one, two, three, go. Upang. Number two. Number three. Amen. Amen. Next. In short, Jesus is the true light. Amen. So he drives our darkness and shine his believing fully to make them walk in the light, not the darkness. Amen. Amen. Next. So what will happen? Then what will happen to us if we accept Jesus, our true light? It is the light to be God's children. Amen? It is the light to be God's children. Those who accept Jesus and believe in his Name we receive the light to be God children. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Why important for? Why is it important for us to have the light to, to be God's children? First, that's because change our identity. We belong to God if we become his children. Thus God transforms our spiritual identity from Satan's slave to God's children. Second, that's because it changed our eternal life if we we can enter God's kingdom if we become his children, then God will give us eternal life in God's kingdom and enjoy heavenly bless as our gift. Amen? Amen. Sunshine. Imagine. Sunshine upon all whether they are evil lot or lot. However, the degree of light may be different. So likewise, Jesus is the true light of the world and shine upon all in this world. Amen? Amen. However, however, he show his grace upon his people and make them walk in his special light. In short, everyone has access to salvation, but Jesus gives salvation to those who accept him and believe in him. Amen? Amen. Amen.
Next. In the past. In the past, we rejected Jesus due to our sinful nature. God transforms God transforms our lives through Christmas to accept Jesus Christ and be God's children. Thus, should accept Jesus Christ and be God's children on Christmas. Amen. Amen. Next. Lucky pass time for one, two, three, go. Amen. Yes, bro. The best of the, the, the best day, the best day for our emotion restoration. Christmas here. Our pain caused by rejection. Next. Before creation, according to Bible, the earth had no form and was void. Then it was on the darkness and God's spiritual hovered over the special surface of water. That in the apple. Yes, Paul. Next. Chaos, void, and darkness. People without Jesus suffer, pro, suffer from these three chaos, void, and darkness if we do not abide in Jesus. We will experience how these three chaos, void, and darkness overwhelm us and affect our thought, action, and words. Negatively, then we will be stuck in chaotic lives. Next. Beginning of creation, God said, let there be light. Amen? Let there be light. That is how God began to create the world. Jesus. Jesus is the true light and give light to everyone. Amen? Thus, he can make all chaos, void, and darkness. Next. He came to the world to save us as the light. Nevertheless, he was. He was rejected from his birth, not welcome. Next. When he came to chaotic Bethlehem, most humble, only wise man and the shepherd came and worship, worshiped him. Another did not welcome him, though Jesus, our God, came to save humans. Tamapo? Tamapo? Yes, Bo. Click. Later, he was rejected and crucified on the cross. John the Baptist witnessed Jesus as Christ. Nevertheless, human mocked Jesus, persecuted him, and cursed him. Then they crucified him and made him dead. Many of us experience a lot of pain due to various rejection. However, we cannot compare our pain with Jesus' pain. 
Therefore, we should resist, uh, resist the negative influence of rejection pain if not will be suffer from, from inferiority, depression, and the suicidal thought. Next. Instead, we should remember that we need Jesus Christ, the light of life and truth for our healing and restoration. Amen? Satan will run away when we accept Jesus. Amen? Amen. Next. Then Jesus set us free from rejection and restoration, restored, restored our emotional health. Thus, Christmas is the best day to achieve emotional restoration. Amen? Amen. Next. <laughs> yes, bro. Next. Number one, Christmas gave us many benefits as it is the best day for our salvation as Christmas is the best day to accept Jesus Christ. Amen? Next. Number two, for transformed identity as Christmas give us an opportunity to be God's children. God's children. Next. And for emotional restoration as Christmas heal our pain caused by rejection. Next. Therefore, on Christmas, we should, number one, accept Jesus, not reject him for our salvation. Amen. Number two, take Christmas as the best chance to accept Jesus. God transformed our identity and as God's children. Amen. Number three, on Christmas, seek God to experience freedom for rejection and emotional healing form. Amen. Next. Let's read this slide again. One, two, three, go. We do not watch God because life is good. We watch God because he is good. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, you came to the world as a man. You came to us to save us. Today, I seek your grace for our salvation, transformed identity as God's children, and emotional healing from rejection for emotional restoration. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Ayan, so mabuti ang Diyos. Salamat po. Uh, naniniwala po ako ang salita ng Diyos ay malinaw po sa bawat isa sa atin. Tunay po na we worship God because He is good. We worship God because because of who he, is. who he is. Amen po ba? Amen. So ito na lang po din yung challenge sa atin po. To those who already accept Jesus Christ, kasi di ba, it is a good chance to accept Jesus. Sa mga tumanggap na sa Panginoon, so ibig sabihin meron tayo ay anak na ng Diyos, tayo ay meron ng bagong identity. From sinner, tayo ay naging anak ng Diyos, and tayo ay mapupunta sa langit. And to those who are not yet accept Jesus Christ, uh, this is your opportunity to accept Jesus, to have ng 
pagkakataon sa buhay natin na tayo ay magkaroon ng transform life, maging anak ng Diyos at tayo ay mapunta sa langit. Amen po ba? Amen. So tayong lahat ay tumayo at tayo po ay magpasalamat sa ating Diyos sa pamagitan po ng pagbibigay ng ating mga tithes and offerings sa Kanya. So tayo po ay pangunahan sa panalangin ni Sister Rosita. Aming Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat, Lord, salamat sa umagang ito, Panginoon, na muli kaming tinipon sa iyong bahay-sambahan, Panginoon. Nagpapasalamat kami, Panginoon, sa mga salitang ito, Panginoon, na nanawa, Panginoon, ay uh, maghari sa buong, uh, sa aming mga puso. Nawa, Panginoon, ay uh, magdulot ng uh, kabutihan sa aming pong mga puso. Maraming maraming salamat Ama sa uh, pagkakataon na ito Panginoon upang kami ay magpuri sa iyo. Salamat sa buong isang taon na uh, uh, paggabay mo sa amin. Salamat sa kabutihan na aming pong tinanggap sa buong isang taon Panginoon. Uh, nagdanas man kami Panginoon ng iba't ibang uh, uri ng uh, pagsubok sa aming buhay Panginoon. Ngunit Uh, nandyan ka upang kami ay uh, gabayan, Panginoon. Binigyan mo kami ng uh, katuparan ang lahat ng aming pong uh, kahilingan, lahat ng aming pong uh, katatagan na binigay mo sa amin Panginoon. Salamat sa kabutihan na nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. Salamat sa kalakasan na patuloy na ipinaparanas mo sa amin. Nawa, Panginoon, sa Darating na 2023, Panginoon, naway Panginoon, ay patuloy mo kaming gabayan. Bigyan mo kami ng uh, kalakasan kung paano mo kami, Panginoon. Uh, ginabayan sa taong ito, Panginoon. Mas, ma mas lalo mo pa kaming gabayan, Panginoon. Imulat mo sa amin, Panginoon, ang iyong mga salita na nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. Nawa ay maghari ang iyong kalooban sa bawat isa, Panginoon, sa aming buhay. Maraming maraming salamat, Ama, at uh, nagpapasalamat kami, Panginoon, sa iyong kapanganakan. At salamat sa, uh, sa krus na natanggap mo upang kami ay sagipin sa, um, sa aming pong mga kasalanan. Nag Umihingi kami, Panginoon, ng aming kapatawaran sa aming pong nagawas na kasalanan sa iyo, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat, Ama, ito po ang aming panalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks unto the Holy One. Give thanks because it's given Jesus Christ, His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks unto the Holy One. Give thanks because it's given Jesus Christ, His Son. I am strong, let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us, give thanks. Thank you for your, for your provision in our life to do opening today. 
what you have now belongs to you because all come from you. Now we return to what you gave us through this opening. Thank you for thank you for touching our heart to do openings. Please bless all the opening give, please fill them with peace and moral finances so that they can us their income for your glory. In this name we pray. Amen. Amen po. Tayo po ay mari pong makaupo. And let's see po our announcement for this uh, this morning. Number one po, let's greet again yung katabi natin. Merry Christmas! Ayan po. So you may get your Thanksgiving card from the Christmas tree after worship. So meron po kayong mga nilagay dito, di ba po, na mga Christmas card or sa ating Christmas tree. Uh, you can get po ito, I mean, yung Thanksgiving card nyo po. Mamaya po, kunin nyo po iyon and uwi nyo po and you can keep this. Amen po. So mamaya kunin po natin. And then number two, evangelism activities, all the glory to God. So palakpakan po muna natin ang ating Diyos sa nakaraang week natin, Saturday and Sunday, evangelism activities. Uh, all the glory to God was been paid full to all. Thank you all the volunteers for using your time and passion for God's glory. Yan, palakpakan po natin ang ating Diyos. And nawa po, ang Diyos ay patuloy po na magpala po dun sa mga uh, volunteers po na ginamit ng Diyos sa pagkakataon po ng evangelism activities. Sige po, sa next po. Yan po, caroling today from 4, uh, 4 p.m. onward. Yung atin pong lamp youth are preparing the caroling to celebrate Christmas together. So, hindi ko pa alam kung may mga schedule silang pupuntahan or bigla na lang silang pupunta. Tama po ba? So anyway, meron po silang uh, caroling today, mamaya po ng uh, 4 p.m. po. So, surprise na lang po siguro sa inyo. Surprise! May umaawit na lang po sa inyo. So anyway, expect nyo na lang po na ang mga lamp youth natin ay may caroling po today. And then number four po, youth Christmas party mamaya pong 3 p.m. Yay! Yung mga youth na yaten. So please join youth Christmas at 3 p.m. So all the youth po are welcome to join po sa youth Christmas party. Uh, games and delicious foods are waiting for you. Wow! Thank you for your food donation. You made us rich in Christ. So sa lahat po ng nagput donation. Salamat po ang Diyos po ang magpala sa inyo. Alam po ng Diyos sino po kayo. Amen. So ang Diyos po ang magbabalik sa inyo ng pagpapala. So all the youth po, kahit bago lang po ngayon, so you can join po later ng 3 p.m. po and have ng fellowship po mamaya sa ating youth. And next po uh, sa ating um announcement. Mission teams, uh, please pray po yung work together for God's glory through the ministries on January 19 to 24 and February 20 to 24 this coming 20, uh, this coming year. So meron po tayong dalawang group po ng mga mission team from Korea. So ito po yung mga dates. Pakipray po yung gawain po nila dito sa ating iglesia. And then number six, New Year, uh, New Year worship will be done according to our our regular worship schedule. Holy Communion will be done next week. So next week po, January 1, meron po tayong uh, Holy Communion po. So yung January 1 is also Sunday. So I hope po all of us ay makasama po sa worship. Diba po? We worship God because hindi po maganda yung situation natin. But we worship God because He is good. Amen po? So see you again po next Sunday. And let's have done po ng Holy Communion at that time. Next po sa ating announcement, Teacher Lauren. And then number seven, Christmas vacation. From Monday po, December 26 to 31, meron po tayong break po muna. We have no midweek prayer meeting and Thursday par parents prayer meeting. So next week po, yung po yung time ninyo, uh, preparation po para sa New Year po, para din po sa self, ano natin, uh, self-reflection, self-meditation, amen po ba? Para po sa planning nyo po sa buhay ninyo, sa sarili natin for the 2023. And continue, gawin na lang po natin yung cutie natin sa bahay po habang wala po tayong prayer meeting at the time. And then, next po, maybe wala na po announcement mo, Teacher Lauren. 
So, wala na po. So, meron pong uh, senior citizen po nag-celebrate ng birthday uh, this week. Okay, unahin po natin yung ating isa sa magandang senior citizen, si Sister Rosalinda. Yan, December 20 po. Please come po. Uh, we want to sing po para sa inyo. And syempre po, may nag-celebrate din po ng birthday today mm -hmm. sa ating senior. Sino po kaya yon Sino po? Brother Jess daw. Yan. Yay! Kuya Jess. Happy birthday, Nanay Rosalinda. Uh, our youth po will give po our, yung cake po na prepared po ni Pastor Kim para sa ating youth. Nagising siya, oh. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, one more time. Sige po, pakibigay po. Ayan, 59 daw. <laughs> Joke lang po. <laughs> Alam, 69 na si nanay. Oh. Sana all. <laughs> Di ba? Uh, happy birthday po. Si Kuya Jess po. T1. T1. O, basta yun. Basta may one. <laughs> Joke lang. 61. Ayan. Happy birthday po. Chinecheck lang. Chinecheck lang natin. Mukhang hindi mga senior eh, no? <laughs> Ayan. Happy birthday po sa inyo. God bless po. Ayan po. And... Uh, another announcement po natin, mamaya po, uh, after worship, wag po muna tayong umuwi. Yan. Uh, stay lang po tayo dito sa church. Um, then, free, free time po tayo to get po yung ating mga Thanksgiving card and gusto nyo po family picture taking and sisirve po yung inyong very simple fellowship po na pinipare po para sa inyo. Ito ay simple but yung fellowship ay pinakamahalaga. And after po nun, makakareceive po kayo ng gift. It's like a dishwashing net po. Diba? Alam nyo po yun yung mga nanay. So, please get po from uh, our senior pastor Pastor po later. So, wala po muna ng uuwi. So, kahit mga ilang minutes lang po, let's have a fellowship together. And kung gusto nyo po, picture taking and then pre at that time after worship. Amen po? So, please stay po at that time. Sige po, tayong lahat po ay tumayo. At um, i-declare po natin with faith ang ating congregational prayer statement. Sagot po. Number one, Panginoon, Naway, puspusin mo ang bawat isa sa amin ng iyong banal na spirito. Manahan ka sa amin, Panginoon, upang makita ng mga tao ang liwanag mo sa aming buhay, sa aming pamilya, sa aming komunidad, at sa aming bansa. Amen. Panginoon, tulungan mo po kaming maging tapat sa mga gawain na ipinagkatiwala mo sa amin. Tulungan mo po kami na maging mabuting huwara ni Kristo sa aming araw-araw na buhay. Amen. Panginoon, isinasamo po namin sa iyong pangalan na naway lumago ang aming simbahan. Hindi lamang sa bilang kundi lumago nawa ang pananampalataya ng isa upang mas lalo kaming maging kagamit-gamit para sa iyong kaharian. Amen. Panginoon, idinudulog po namin sa iyo ang aming bansa. Tulungan mo po ang aming bansa na maging sentro si Jesus at mapagtagumpayan ng anumang darating pa ng mga kalamidad. Amen. Panginoon, patuloy ka pong maghari sa buhay ng aming missionaries, ministers at mga leaders sa aming iglesia. Ang banal na spirito mo ang patuloy na gumabay sa kanila upang ang karian mo ay patuloy na lumawak, naway ang buhay nila ay maging mabangong handog sa Diyos. Amen. Let's sing together the Lord's Prayer song.
again. May the grace of Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the powers of the Holy Spirit be with God people, this congregation, or the church in GMP Church. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas po ulit. Please stay lang po sa inyo. Kapuan. Deserve po yung ating simple. Merry Christmas.